So that was putting Lego under the yep. microscope. Yeah, Watch right. this segue. So speaking of microscopes. <laughs> hey, Tech Corner got, this yeah, week. Go. Good job, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're on, on it, man. Segway for anything. <laughs> All right. Okay, so today's today's Tech Corner. You know, we, we, we do bring a fair amount of equipment onto, onto the show. Sure. Uh, every other week or so we have something on. And a lot of the equipment, frankly, is fairly pricey. It's very high-end uh, equipment. Uh, we've had things on from Brunson sure, and sure. OGP. Olympus had a beautiful uh, video scope yep, on yep. Uh, mm -hmm. not too long ago. But these things can run into the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. So I love it when we run across an inspection tool that is something that that anybody can use and it's and it's very useful. And that's what we're going to look at and today. And very affordable. And very affordable. So what I'm holding to my hand here, actually, let's switch over to the gauge cam. This is a, uh, this is a, um, the micro, uh, actually, let me get the name right here. This is from Avon Incorporated, and this is the Mighty Scope 5M Digital Microscope. Uh, this is a 10x to 200x power uh, scope with a built-in ring light. We can see that there, blind you with the camera there. <laughs> um, with a built-in ring light. Now, that 200x, part of that is digital, digital zoom. Uh, on my computer, optical zoom only. I'm getting about 40x optical zoom maximum, which is great for any kind of close inspection. Mm -hmm. So I'll go back to our main cam here. Um, nice thing about it, it's a USB cord, ties into your computer via USB, mm -hmm. and I can do a whole variety of things with this. I just want to show you a couple things. First of all, I want to do a little close-up. Um, this is at maximum magnification, and let me get my, my software up here. Okay, so built-in ring light. I'm going to put this like right dead on the top of, this is actually the box that, that it came in, and let me focus this. And you can see, we are, I'm looking at the actual dot pattern, mm -hmm. and you can see it there. That is the dot pattern for the, uh, the printing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's your CMYK. Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, black dots that you would see if you look at anything really close. You can see very, very crisp, very crisp, very well lit. Um, very Excellent optics. And, yeah, very, really good optics. Uh, I'm going to look at my keyboard here. You have a working distance of maybe about, about eight inches. And you can see, you can see every, if I hold this steady, you can see every speck of dust on this. <laughs> Clean your keyboard, Dirk. Yeah, no kidding, I've got to stop eating over it. <laughs> I was going to say. I think I see breadcrumbs in there. And you can see it's actually very clear, and this is a working distance of about eight inches. Um, so a really a useful, really a useful tool for, um, really a useful tool for uh, any kind of inspection, like circuit board inspection, mm -hmm. mechanical inspection, or even if you just need to look at something and get inside an awkward space, this has got about a six foot USB cord. You can just run your hand down into something. Yep. But it's more than just a visual inspection tool. It also works uh, as a measurement tool. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to show you right now. So I'm going to come back to our gauge cam here. And let's, let's focus. And I've got two things here. I have got a... I've got a ruler, a tape measure actually, and a dime. And the reason for the ruler is I need, in order to do measurement, I need to, first of all, calibrate. So um, I'm going to click on my measurement tool up here. I'm going to tell it to calibrate. And basically what I have to do in order to calibrate is tell it, um, give it a reference. And I have a choice of how many reference distances I can choose. I'm going to choose five millimeters. And I've got, I'm going to measure out five millimeters. Actually, I can go more on this. I think I'll do 10 millimeters. Yeah. I'm going to measure 10 millimeters, and that's going to give me my reference value. So I'm going to right select a line tool here. There we go. Select a line tool, and I'm going to measure that's 10 millimeters, one centimeter. And release. That's all it takes to calibrate it. Obviously, you would probably use something better than a tape measure. You might want to use a steel rule or a gauge block, something that had a known, a known accuracy. But this is close enough for what we're doing here. And now I can actually go into measure mode. If I go back and actually measure that distance again, I can see in my length it's mm -hmm. showing me 9.99 millimeters. But let's get rid of that. Let's take the tape measure out of the picture. Put everything back on the floor here. And now we've got our dime. Let me, let me center the dime. I'm going to drop that dime. Okay, all right, focus that a little bit more. By the way, look at that. You can see every scratch on that thing. Sure can. It's really great. So go back into measurement mode. Number of measurements I can do. I can measure, um, I can take angle measurements, circle, ellipse, line, rectangle, triangle, and a, a three dot radius measurement. I'll show you in just, matter of fact, let me show you that one right now. Three dot radius. If I move this out of the way, take three dots. So that's our first one. We stretch it to the second one, 
and stretch it to the third one. And it shows me down here where you can just barely see it. It shows me uh, uh, that I have a radius of, I believe that says 8.4, 8 mm -hmm. which would be a diameter of uh, 16.8. Mm -hmm. Turns out a dime actually has a diameter of, I believe, 17.4 millimeters. So pretty close given that I didn't really calibrate yeah. this all that mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Um, angle, as, as I mentioned, angle measurements, uh, line measurement. Let's do a line measurement really quick here. So I measured a circle. Let's measure uh, a line. How? How long is his neck there? And we get a measurement a length of 6.6 .6 millimeters. Now that I've taken my measurements, I can say, OK, let's take a snapshot of it. And I can save it. And now I can get out of there. And if we look along the bottom, uh, actually, if, uh, actually uh, Daniel, you can kill that, that lower third there so we can see the bottom. There, there we go. go. Um, along the bottom, you can see. St saved images. At any point, I can just bring up an image I want. Here's another dime that I took. Here's, a, here's the dot pattern that we took earlier. So you can save images, mm. uh, annotated images, as well as uh, videos as well. So if you're taking something that has, um, that has movement that you need to capture, you can record an AVI with it. So get this, 250 bucks. Wow. I mean, it's really an inexpensive, really useful measurement tool right. that operates off the USB port yep. on your laptop. That's so, great. Yeah, so it's great. So this was the, uh, let me grab the box here. Yeah. This is the, uh, the Mighty Scope, uh, the Mighty Scope 5M digital microscope from Avon Incorporated. That's right, great tool. Yeah, great tool. We love those 200, things. 250 bucks. I, know, I mean, gosh, it's, it's it, a yeah, piece it, of cake, kind it, of a no-brainer really for an inspection tool. Sure, and, and we love those kind of, that, that kind of equipment. So if you have uh, other products uh, similar to this or, or other test and measurement equipment that you want us to demo on the show, just let us know at qdl at and we'll get it on the show for you. Yep.